Hello everyone, Windows Tutorials here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can burn a uh, CD uh, on your PC without any software or anything that you have to download. It's really easy, it's really simple, and it doesn't cost a thing. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is put a CD into your disk drive. Make sure the CD is in your drive properly before you uh, go ahead with the next step. The next step that will happen right now is once you put your CD in, you will get a pop-up on the screen like this, asking what do you want to use, how do you want to use the disk. So you're going to name it, I'm just going to name it CD. And the option that we're going to choose is with a CD slash DVD player. So you click next on this. And right here is where you want to add your uh, music. So you're going to want to uh, open your file explorer. Go to the music that you want. And you're just going to want to highlight them, copy them, and drag them into right here. These are the ones that you want to add on onto the disk. So once you've... Once you pasted them in there, or you've dragged them in there, you'll get something saying you have files waiting to be burned to the disk. So what you do next is right click on the screen, and there'll be a little option here saying burn to disk. That's what you're going to click. And then it will ask you again for the title and the recording speed. So I've named mine CD, and the higher the, the, the recording speed, the uh, less quality the CD is going to be. Um, so I'm just going to click 10 times and that will make it the highest quality that you can have on here. So just click which speed you want, name the uh, CD whatever you want it to be, then click next. And then you want to make an audio CD for standard audio CD players so you go ahead and click next for that one. And then it will bring um, up Windows Media Player right here. Okay, these are all the songs that have been, uh, that we dragged onto the disc. So you can see all the names here, and if you scroll down here, you can see every one of them. And what you want to do to just start, um, just start burning them to, to the disc, you're going to wait until this says here, retrieving media from whatever song that it's uh, retrieving the media from. But once that is finished, you don't have to completely wait for it to finish, but um, you can if you want to. So you wait until that's finished right here. And then at the top there is an option to start the burn. And that's what you do, you just click start burn. And this will start burning all of your songs um, that you have here. And it will start burning them all onto, you, onto the CD that you have in your disk drive. This may take a while depending on which uh, speed you, cl you clicked. Uh, but you will know when it is done because it will uh, eject the disk drive and it will also tell you here the percentage. I don't know how long mine is going to take so I'm going to pause this video until it's finished. Alright, so as you can see my disk right here is at 99% burning and uh, you can also see right here that um, it ejected the CD from my disk drive. So that is it. That's the process. Now you can go ahead, put it in your CD player, and listen to the songs that you burn on there. It's as easy as that, really. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And if you have any requests of any videos that you'd want to see, um, you can also put that in the comments, and I will do my best to uh, do a video of whatever you request if I know how to do that um, but thanks for watching this video and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like and comment and do all that good stuff um, so yeah that's that's it really thanks for watching peace